Hello, welcome to another session on comparing quantities. We have been uh, doing uh, compound interest, if I recall correctly, and we completed taking up, uh, finding out compound interest when the interest was compounded um, annually. Well, now in this session, we're taking up questions wherein the interest is compounded half yearly or even quarterly. The first question I'm taking up, I'll just put it down on the screen. It says, compute the compound interest on rupees 12,000 for two years at a rate of 20% per annum. We have to calculate the compound interest for two years. Sorry, I made a mistake uh, by without, I mean, I didn't complete the question here. But the information is when it is compounded, <coughs> sorry, sorry, half yearly, or even you, you can just come across the term semi annually. That means this rate of 20% per annum is at per annum okay that that is given every six months so you need to find out n as how many times the interest is given in these two years time our formula says we have to calculate amount first to find out the interest so it is a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n now the n stands for the number of times or we call it number of years though but here how many times the interest is being paid in this given two years semi-annually that means every six months the interest is paid so in two years four times the interest must have got paid so our n will be four so it is twelve thousand 1 plus 20 okay one more thing here this 20 percent yeah. is per annum so for six months what will be the rate so it will become 10 I just did it deliberately so you will not write 20 there you will be writing 10 there because this 20 is per annum for one year this 10 percent rate is given four times so your calculation if you reduce it it becomes 1 by 10 so 1 plus 1 by 10 is 11 by 10 sorry this is nothing 11 by 10 to the power 4 and here you are left with you know the arithmetic calculation i'm just not doing this part i'll just give you the answer that gives us 17569.20 that's the amount so the interest will be calculated as normal that is a amount minus principal that is 17569.20 minus 12000 and that would give us 5569.20 we now take up another question where though this compounded half yearly remains but the number of years is given in months. Let's see. I take up another one in the uh, fresh screen and write down the question. Find out the and we're simply writing CI for compound interest on rupees 1000 and it says at a rate of 10 sorry 10 person per annum for 18 months when the interest is compounded half yearly That means your principal is 1000, rate is 10% or 18 months with compounded half yearly. Now, again we write up the same formula application. That's amount is equal to principal into 1 by R, 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. Your principal is already 
visible that's 1000 plus 1 by 100 again the same thing it's 10 percent given for i mean per annum but compounded half yearly so the rate gets 5 by 100 now how many times in 18 months the interest is paid because every six months the interest is paid so in 18 months you will be getting three interests so you'll write it accordingly so the number of n you can write as three this also i can reduce makes it 20 so it is 21 upon 20 to the power 3 again the same thing you simply solve this arithmetic part you will get in decimal that's giving me 1157.63 and now you can calculate the interest as amount minus principal and the amount was 1157.63 the principal we had already taken to be 1000 and simply your interests become 157.63 this is the way you do when it is compounded half yearly now we'll also take up question where it is compounded quarterly let's move on to another screen i write down the question first and then i explain how to go for it it says find the compound interest oh i could have written that in uh, short form anyways on rupees three lakh twenty thousand for one year at a rate of twenty percent per annum if the interest is compounded quarterly so we again say the formula remains same only the uh, difference becomes wherein we are calculating the rate as well as the number of years that is n so i write the formula again it is a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n now p is 3 lakh 20 thousand right right then 1 plus r by 100 so what becomes the rate rate this 20 percent per annum is given four times in four times a year so it is 20 divided by 4 gives us 5 by 100 so it's 5 by 100 to the power n now in oh i made a mistake here this is for one year which i didn't complete writing so i'll write it there just excuse me for this miss one year so in one year how many times are you paying getting the interest paid so it is four times you are getting it paid so this becomes four so if you reduce this becomes again one by 20 and the solution or for the calculation of amount will be three lakh twenty thousand into twenty one by twenty to the power 4 in such case if you calculate you will be getting 3 8 8 9 6 2 this becomes your amount so the interest will be simply subtracting the principal from this so it is 388 962 minus 3,20,000 and that gives us 68962 rupees this is when this is how you do when it is you no know, compounded uh, quarterly let's move on with another question i'll write down that question I'll simply not be calculating. I'll be only telling you how to go for this question. Ramesh deposited rupees seven thousand five hundred in a bank, which pays him 
12% interest let it be int per annum compounded quarterly I'm sorry quarterly what is the amount what is the amount he receives at the or after nine nine after nine months now your quarterly is um, uh, uh, sorry your um, interest is compounded quarterly and what do you receive after nine months so the trick remains with what will be your n and what will be your percentage i again do the same as we did in the previous questions i'll be hearing there is no question uh, it's simply asking about the amount so we'll simply be writing that so it's p i'm not writing the formula again plus r by 100 now 12 percent per annum compounded quarterly so the rate becomes 12 by 4 that is 3 so it is 3 by sorry 100 now after nine months so in nine months how many times the interest is being paid if it is compounded uh, you know uh, quarterly it will be paid three times see why because nine months is nine by 12 years right so that is um, it's three it's four so that is 3 by 4 years. So as because it is compounded quarterly, so it is 4 times in and 4 times in a year and for number of years becomes 3 by 4. So I am getting it 3. That way I calculated it as 3. I tell you this part again. Because it is 9 months, I converted that 9 month into number of years. So that makes it 9 by 12 years. In 9 by 12 year, but in every year it is getting, you are getting paid 4 times. So it is 9 by 12 into 4. So if you cancel, that is giving you 3. Right? So it becomes, your calculation would then become 7500 plus this is I think 103 by 100 to the power 3. If you solve this part, I'm doing it. I'm actually getting getting 8195.45. You don't have to subtract principle to find the interest because the question is simply asking about the amount. In the next few sessions, we'll be taking up questions wherein we are asked to find the rate or the time under compound interest. Thank you.